everybody, it's Greta from Aspiration again, and today I'm going to do a product demonstration for one of my free products called Exponent Rolls, my favorite no. It's a really cool product because it's taking the idea of an exit ticket or a warm-up or bell work type of a problem, and it's making students think beyond just completing the problem. So the first step is you have the question that you ask on a card. I have like four per page. That way you don't waste a whole lot of paper. You can just print off, cut it up, or have a student cut it up for you. And it has one question on it. It says, using exponent rules, please simplify the following expression. And then I have an expression written on there. Uh, this one's using some negative exponents and the uh, uh, power rule and... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so the students answer the question as best they can uh, using the exponent rules that they learned in the lesson earlier that day or the previous day. And they hand them to me. And the good thing is because it's one question, I know what the answer is, I can sort them into two piles. Wrong and right. The right answers are not the ones that I'm interested in because they're right. They're boring there's not much of a discussion you can get out of a right answer. What I'm looking for is the perfect wrong answer. And what I mean by that is it's the kind of wrong answer that usually has a misconception or it's just an interesting incorrect answer. Maybe they were going in the right direction but something went awry. So what I do is I pick my favorite one, my favorite wrong answer. and. I don't tell anybody who it belongs to. I don't write the person's name on the board. All I do is I recreate the work of the student. So I rewrite the way they answered the question exactly as they wrote it on their paper. And I put it up on the board. And I first have my students just look at it, read through it. And, and I ask them, after they've had some time to look through the problem, what did this person do right? So a lot of times we focus so much on the wrong answers, we forget to basically acknowledge what people are doing correct. So I have the class look for what the person did correctly in the problem. And first we discuss that. They might point out that they used the power rule properly or they used the negative exponent rule correctly. Maybe they forgot to do something, but they don't mention that yet. After we go over what the person did right, then I ask them, okay, where did this go wrong? What about this problem made it incorrect? And that's where the students are analyzing and explaining their reasoning behind why that answer was wrong. And then we go one step further and I ask, what can we do to fix it? So the class is looking at the answers, discussing. I even put a page in there to kind of guide it so maybe you can have the students fill out the paper before the whole class discusses or fill out the paper and then they can discuss in small groups if you feel like it's too much for the whole class at once. Maybe your class is really big. Um, it's a great, great, great sort of method just because it really gets to some of those common core uh, mathematical practice standards, uh, which Arizona also has for Arizona College and Career Ready standards. They also have mathematical practice standards that you need to address in the classroom. And being able to explain your reasoning is a huge one. Um, being able to discuss and analyze problems is huge. So this type of activity provides an excellent opportunity to incorporate in, that into a class and create a discussion environment. So that also helps out maybe some of your ELL students that need to practice their speaking and listening. And it also helps some of your SPED students who maybe their writing isn't so great and so it might be hard to write an explanation but they can verbalize it. So that's what I have. Of course, I'm going to have the link in the doobly-doo below, as well as I have Twitter now. So I'm going to put my Twitter, um, I don't know what they call it, uh, my Twitter name <laughs> down there as well. And also, don't be afraid to visit my uh, Maspiration store where you can download this great free product. I also have other products as well. Uh, there's one for geometry that's not free. And pretty soon I'd like to expand upon this free product and offer one that's paid that has many more questions so you can address more than just the one type. 
Um, so have a great day. Don't forget to follow and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.